Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather alert. Uh, sometimes when I have my headphones in, Brian comes over and does that to me to get my attention. Now, don't do that now, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look right now at what's happening. We have been watching this Narragansett scene carefully because some waves have been splashing over the wall. They appear to be calming down just a little bit, but there still could be some uh, lingering moisture here on the sidewalks. Definitely bring along the sunglasses because it's bright, but it's also cold. So certainly wear those layers, almost dress like you're going skiing or something if you're shoveling some snow this morning. Seven is the feel like temperature in Smithfield, four in Newport, 10 in Westerly. It does feel a little better now though because of the sunshine. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 clearing out the snow, the cold and stiff breezes come in behind it. How about Oakland Beach and Warwick? Sunshine coming out, reflecting off of the snow. That will make things look very, very bright. So here are some additional snowfall amounts. You can see around six and a half in Barrington. West Greenwich, almost a foot of snow. Westerly, we had a report come in of 15.5 inches. Block Island over a foot. Providence, 7.5. At my house in Providence, we had around five and a half or six. So amounts really varied a lot by location. Speaking of snowfall totals, check these out from across the mid-Atlantic and northeast. West Virginia, 40 inches of snow. Dulles Airport in Washington, D.C., 28.3. That sets, I believe, their number two storm ever. Baltimore, this is number one for snowstorms ever at 29.2 inches. And keep in mind, records going back to the 1800s here at BWI. New York City, 27.7 inches. Uh, we're looking at at least no more snow falling, but the winds right now gusting between 20 and 30 from westerly to Newport. The winds do relax a little bit today. Yellow category on the threat tracker because of the cold and the wind and some of those slick side roads. Center of low pressure offshore, but some gusty winds moving in behind it. You add that all up and you get temperatures right around freezing for highs today, but wind chills will be in the teens for most of the day to low 20s by the afternoon. 32 in Charlestown, 32 for a high in Hope Valley. In northern Rhode Island, temperatures also in the low 30s. 31 in Burville, Situate 31, 31 in West Warwick, and 29 in Bristol. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures, low 30s, with the feel like temperatures in the teens and 20s, going for around 31 in Seekonk and 31 in Attleboro. Seven day future cast keeps things relatively quiet for the next several days. Some rain and snow showers possible Tuesday night to Wednesday morning. Neither of these days are washouts. Thursday, mid 30s with some sunshine. Friday, chance of some snow, and then Saturday, highs right around 40 degrees. I've updated the blog several times this morning, kind of wrapping up the storm totals. Also looking ahead a little bit. You want to check that out on WPRI.com.